1997, Garry Kasparov was beaten by IBM's Watson in chess. Following this event, he invented Centaur Chess, or Advanced Chess. In Centaur Chess, a human plays together with a machine. We want to adopt the concept of a human playing together with a machine for design. Through designing together with a machine, designers and machine can work together to develop and conceptualize ideas for the 21st century. Computation design, the degree, the research, is a degree that combines architecture and design on the one side, with engineering and science on the other, all through a profound understanding of computation and computing. A research project like the Project of Arab is very interesting for us because it gives students the opportunity to apply their skills on an actual project. The project will have three phases. Each phase is in one term. The first term is preliminary design, where students use machine learning to conceptualize a form. The second term has three studios, one in human-machine interaction, one in digital fabrication, and one in BIM modeling that enables the preliminary design to go into design documentation. And the third and the final term is a studio that builds the studio or that builds the project. So we will have each year a project that will be exhibited in Sydney in the Arab office, in Melbourne, in Brisbane, and around the clock. A good question to ask ourselves every time we do a research project is why? And sometimes the answer um, is because we can, and sometimes it isn't. And fortunately on this project, it isn't. There are three reasons really why we're doing this project, and each of them um, relates to what we see as the future of architecture and design. So the first one, uh, is about uh, sustainability. So given that uh, the Sustainable Development Goals are a big part of our program at Arup, um, we're, we're now looking for ways to um, improve uh, the materials that we use and also use methods of design that um, are much more efficient in terms of impact on the environment. The second reason is expectations. So expectations from our clients and our clients' clients about how architecture and design should feel. So they're starting to ask us for things, not just adaptability of a space or flexibility of a space, but also interaction with a space or the ability to deconstruct a building or the ability for a building to adapt over time to environmental or uh, human-led change. And the last reason is about uh, technical design. So as we see uh, the, the sort of process of design going from the architect straight to fabrication, it's starting to get a little bit closer together. And it's quite exciting because we can start to build all these crazy new things, but it makes us wonder what, what is the role of the engineer? And so with University of New South Wales, the, the computational design students are helping us explore all three of those areas. And they bring a lot of passion and curiosity to their work, um, which is making us quite excited and inspiring us to come up with new technical solutions that um, we may not have thought of before.